Okay, I guess we are we've gone live. Okay, hi everyone. Myself, myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh this is Zarek. So I'm an experienced associate at uh, Sadate and Zarek here is a co-founder at Bean Scene, which is a very exquisite coffee. Uh they know their stuff in, about coffee. I mean they're I think the only people I'm familiar with in Pakistan who know their coffee. So yeah, I'll let Zarek introduce himself. Uh thank you so much for flattering me, Mats, and for the kind words for the team. But yeah, my name is Zalak. I am currently working for Beansing as a co-founder of Beansing, uh, running Beansing. This was like a passion project more so. Uh, but at the same time, I also work in the automotive industry and finance. Um, I just recently graduated uh, with a master's in corporate management from UCL. And so, yeah, that's like... a base level introduction that i can give of myself as far as my accomplished recent accomplishments yeah. or positions go with that basic uh intro he's already outdone me by like 15 <laughs> but, oh God, no. like i i really respect this guy i mean honestly i've known zarek since uh so yeah, since school like he was one yeah. year senior to me i was a very annoying kid i don't know how they put up with me but here we are I think like ten years down the road, how the turntables. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So, like, did you have this idea for being seen even in Springfield? Like, mm-hmm. were you working with it then, or was it like when did you think of it? No, I think this began with this weird obsession that just sprang up somewhere after O levels, A levels for coffee. Uh, so yeah, Springfield was like. O levels, cut time. So, so I didn't really have any sort of you know like passion project or passion I was chasing as such. I just wanted to do something creative uh, in the future. Um, but yeah, and more so like just my interest and uh, obsession with coffee grew during uh, A levels, and then just continued and became you know went out of control at a certain point. In the sense that I just really wanted to start some sort of, uh, just any sort of thing like a business or a page or blog page or website or something, just at, talking about like my opinions of coffee and what makes coffee good or I don't know, just like just general coffee culture, if that makes sense. Uh, more yeah. specifically, specialty coffee. So beansing is a very recent thing. Uh, that came from like just an amalgamation of uh events i guess but yeah it's only been 6 months that we've been operating sort of um but yeah that's that's kind of where it came along from yeah nice uh mm-hmm. how did it come out in pakistan where did you get your first like authentic coffee in pakistan cuz i'm at a loss Ooh, okay. <laughs> Wait, do you mean uh, in terms of like where did I have my first good cup of coffee in Pakistan? Or yeah, uh, I mean, I'm okay. thinking it went more like you had a cup of coffee, and I was like, this tastes like shit. Okay, <laughs> I need to do something about this. <laughs> you actually okay? Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> it, it it was similar to that, but it was just like. <laughs> a bunch of experiences like that not to say that sh- coffee should these all taste like shit kya gande hai you mitti wala pani but no I, it was it was um it, so i think there's some places that had good coffee at a certain point like for example flock um in zamzama for, for yeah. the love of coffee that was that was pretty yeah, decent I when i started up games. Oh yeah, exactly. It's great for board yeah. games, but before it used to be great for coffee too. Believe it or not, um, uh, I'm just kidding. I don't mean to be uh, snarky <laughs> or anything, but they, I haven't tried their coffee recently. But back then, I was like, oh, ye jagal kholiye. This was like back in 2015 or so. I was like, okay, their coffee is pretty decent. Um, uh, could be better, but whatever. And then, yeah, just I mean, that's how it was. Like with there was also mocha, m- mocha. at maka uh, yeah who was this i'm forgetting khaybane um, shajat 
Bro, there's so many Thailand. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Shujaat. <laughs> yeah. The, so I I tried their coffee and I was like, okay, this is a good place too. So like I had my spots at the time, but then I noticed the quality did go down. And also they weren't yeah. very transparent about what kind of beans they were using, who was roasting them, where they were getting them from, the exact, uh, like whether it was a single origin or a blend. Um, so yeah, these things kind of like popped up and, and I had this just feeling like, okay, I want to open up a coffee shop at one point, which I haven't done yet, but that's that's like the final- Inshallah, end goal. Sir. Inshallah, Inshallah. In Pakistan? Absolutely. In Pakistan, in Karachi. Um, nice, can't wait for it. <laughs> thank you but i think it was this probably sounds very pretentious and just uh you know like no. but when i went when when i would visit dubai that's when i would look for specialty coffee shops that were exceptional because uh dubai really was just picking up in terms of specialty coffee culture and they were doing insane stuff as far as quality goes and so yeah, the pace was really picking up in the way. So it, that was like the spot for me to uh, just satisfy my, you know. Uh, just coffee desires. For, yeah, coffee desires, yeah, there you go. So yeah, that, I think that's where I would just, I, I like just aspiration to be like one of the coffee shops, specialty coffee shops there, or I guess some other ones I've tried. Yeah, so I would love to like bring sort of that idea of a specialty coffee shop to Karachi, but obviously have its own twist and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's pretentious at all, firstly. I mean, like we have to come to terms with Pakistan is missing out on a lot. And you're actually trying to bring it to Pakistan. So yeah. that's uh, hats off to you. So, oh, thank you, man. But you know, I, I mean there's still <laughs> there's still it's not to say like there's not people doing it. There are people still doing a lot in the uh, you know coffee marketplace at the moment um i'd like to say there's this one place in lahore artisan coffee roasters who are yeah, literally doing what i've seen being done in dubai uh as like a like a good specialty coffee shop that you know it's it's quality it's it's great yeah so that's just one name okay. yeah so yeah. okay people usually associate now i'm trying to bring it to productivity so that yeah, yeah of course me, but People usually associate coffee with productivity. I mean, you know, you get up, you have a cup of coffee in the morning and you get things mm-hmm. going. How far mm-hmm. is that true? I think it is It is pretty true because you form an association uh, with anything that you try and, you know, bring a change in your life. Like, for example, like even if it's because, for example, if I were to be very technical, caffeine doesn't really do you much favors when you wake up because your brain is already, I mean, I'm not a neuroscientist, but I, there, there's already this uh, chemical that's being released that helps wake you up. Uh, and once you have caffeine on top of it, it's kind of like, eh, you're not doing anything. Like the caffeine's not adding <sighs> to anything. You're already up. Your brain's already going to be, you know, uh, active. So it's, but then also like when you get so used to it and you miss that cup of coffee in the morning when you've had it for the last six months or a year, then your brain just shuts off because you're, it's it's part of, you know, your everyday. Uh, so, so I think, yeah, it's a 50-50 thing, I guess. So it's kind of like no, not throwing shade on homopathic medicines, like they work, but kind of like, you know, people begin to think like, you know, this helps. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, like caffeine doesn't do anything to them but they still have it because uh, they, it makes them feel good um, there is a certain dopamine release attached to it so yeah it helps it definitely helps in the wide you know yeah it does coffee motivate you to get stuff done Holy shit, yes. That's, I'm sorry. I, I'm not supposed to curse, probably. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, it, it definitely does. I mean, uh, like, literally, my this, this, my only motivation to wake up early in the morning is to just, like, make my cup of coffee and just, just literally get to work. Um, <laughs> it has, it, uh, now that we're speaking about time management, I feel like it does become a bit of a, it takes up a lot of time in the morning to yeah. uh, make my cup of coffee because I do this manual pour over uh, and I grind my beans by hand. 
So this whole process takes eight minutes. As he knows his stuff. <laughs> but I hope I do. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's worth it. I mean, it's a nice routine to have in the yeah. morning. Yeah, which brings to it like for time management. I mean, you wake mm-hmm. up in the morning and then you're doing something that you like doing, and mm-hmm. then it's getting mm-hmm. you to look forward to your day. So mm-hmm. yeah. that could be a great use of your time. I mean, if you're using time mm-hmm. to make yourself feel better for mm-hmm. the upcoming day, then it's better to spend than just sleeping in, right? And then being like, yeah, yeah, of course, I gotta do this. yeah, yeah, very nicely put. Absolutely, I definitely agree with that. What's the hardest challenge you face like, in with uh, being seen as well as the job you're doing right now? And my telling you more about it's... that automation is in no, we're an automotive that... industry. Ah, okay. So yeah, so it's a import export company for tires, basically, yeah. uh, and distribution. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm basically just like in a pretty entry level finance position it's nothing you know too uh what do you call it yeah it's nothing too complicated it's mostly just exciting uh yeah (laughs) it's all right it's cool uh i i i i I get the chance to like come up with my own analysis and interpretation at times and that's cool so but yeah so that's part of it and then so yeah just handing these kind of two hats uh and it I think priority, prioritizing becomes a big issue uh, when you know having the two roles, two very different roles. Um, like if I, like sometimes my meetings for both things will overlap and uh-huh. be you know like back to back. So I think just like mentally context context switching is a bit exhausting yeah. for me, like preparing myself for something that is, you know, completely finance related than going to like an entrepreneurial kind of frame of mind where I have to just think about, you know, not just finance, but operations, logistics, and et cetera, et cetera, for being seen. Yeah. Um, yeah so it, it, I think prioritizing becomes very difficult because then I don't know, I, I, d- I definitely have a hard time uh, structuring my tasks throughout the day for both of the, for both my roles. Yeah. And then, correct me if I'm wrong, but you also uh, try going around the world and testing out specialty coffee. So you have to find time for that as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I I think because of the pandemic, I've become more so a home coffee reviewer or brewer and stuff. Like uh, I just do it from home in the sense that I just buy a bag of beans. I'll talk about it on my page or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I, I it's very it's very rare that I go out and travel just for the sole purpose of coffee. I'm just I'm blessed <laughs> to be able to travel for work sometimes, and then uh, yeah, coffee is just a byproduct of my yeah exploring coffee is a byproduct of my work travels or you know family travels too sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that, that's very nice. I mean, you mm-hmm. the work life balance you're already getting kind of. I, I hope so. Yeah, I think I need to probably focus more on work and less of the life <laughs> of the balance. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> getting there. <laughs> all right. So with all of this, juggling all of this, how do you mm-hmm. how do you manage your time? How do you remain productive across the board? Um, I think uh, maybe a lot of other people do this, but I just I literally make a to do list um, every morning. So I it, this probably sounds like very self helpy uh, Gary V type of shit, but I, I wake up, <laughs> like I I just made my cup of coffee. I do this thing, like I do journaling. I make a little, you know, gratitude note, like what am I grateful for today? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, cute shit. But uh, then, I, <laughs> then I just like, I make like a really simple to-do list uh, that I just check off uh, by the end of the day. So like the most important task goes on the top um, and then all the other subtasks go underneath. Um, and I try to just like have a time allocated for those tasks as well. Otherwise I'll just completely, you know, miss them and not do them uh, as required. So yeah, it, it's pretty simple. And then I try not to, like I, I use this thing called forest, which is, it's literally just like a timer. It's 
So there's yeah. this thing in self-help called the Pomodoro technique, where you set a time on your phone. And for those like 35 to 45 minutes, you just completely focus on the task at hand and you don't touch your phone or you don't answer to any distractions around you. So I kind of just like microdose my my tasks like that. Um, so that I found that to be pretty effective in terms of productivity. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I mean, I'll touch up on that again. Okay. But OK, so do you and in terms of self-help? So mm -hmm. I I mean, they're they are helpful. I wasn't very into them like a couple of years ago. But then my mom got like 10 self-help books and just put them in the on the study. And then nice. they look nice. I mean, they look so cute. And I was like, you know, I don't want to be productive. I want to be happy. I want to start the day off happy. Yeah, and of course. Just reading it. And then most of it's like, you know, it comes uh, from within you. And I was like, I already uh, knew this. But then you turn uh, a page and then it there's just these small puzzles or these small notes that just make you smile. And you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, I'm already happier. <laughs> so I guess it's working. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. There is a bit of wholesomeness, I guess, in some self-help books. But yeah. like the more businessy self-help books can be a bit just... Dude, uh, legit, yeah. I have those here. Like legit. Oh, I man, you're a scholar. I made an aesthetic here. <laughs> <laughs> actually why i needed this is because yeah. pehle i was extremely like delved into time management because that's the only way i can be productive like din ko shuru kiya, i need to wake up have this breakfast between this time my commute will take this long so i need to leave mm. at exactly this time get there this mm -hmm. time study gym swim meet friends i had an allocated time for having fun okay oh, nice. like you know like, it's time not nice okay because it drove me crazy like if i missed a single thing i was just like oh yeah. like you know effort there goes my entire day yeah yeah, yeah. Khatam. <laughs> and then it was like a cascading okay, domino yeah. effect like yeah. ka khana sahi nahi khaya na, to oh ka my God. Da, it's <laughs> and i was oh, like you know that, that's not how it should be huh. Uh, which is uh, that's, like yeah. literally yeah, the, like the books I've read and like everything point like one of the main takeaways I had from it was what mm -hmm. you okay, if you're doing a task like you don't need to decide when you're going to do the task just when mm -hmm. you're doing it you need to give it your all like be sincere like mm -hmm. so right, right. I need to get this done I don't yeah. need to be thinking about what I'm doing after this or that mm -hmm. I have to complete this I'm just doing mm -hmm. it. There's no deadline, mm -hmm. but I just have to be working on it. Yeah, which is which really helped me out. Okay, that's yeah, that's a good that's a good kind I, of reminder to have in the me? back of your head. Yeah, of course, I, yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm right I think, here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there are tension now, though. So <laughs> yeah, that, but that's I'm I'm glad you said that because sometimes I get caught up in the same cycle where I just feel like. If one of the things on my to-do list don't get done at the right time or in the right way, like the rest of my day is ruined, um, and I just like I've completely messed it up. So it, it, that's I'm glad you said that because it's something that I can carry with me as well now. Yeah, it helps. I mean, okay, you're doing that same thing I said before the call. You're just throwing yeah. my compliment back at me. I said uh, you I helped say, me, you teach me this, uh, and then you threw it back. And, no, you helped me. Hey, I, I'm saying it's a reminder. I'm being genuine. It's 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 true. It's, <laughs> I, I appreciate just it. Just a fair warning. Zarek is one of the most wholesome people I've had hey, the pleasure hey, of meeting. So <laughs> this is just gonna be like a back and forth beach beach man. So if you feel Thank like you man. need to get a room, <laughs> please comments me like the. Okay. Another question is, yeah. how, what do you chalk up? Like, do you mm -hmm. chalk up like your success and your productivity to time management? Or do you think like, you know, it's other stuff. You can be completely genuine. Um, hmm. Great question. I think um, this is probably how I look at it, but I think I'm just, I've just been extremely lucky in life. To, to have all the opportunities given to me, kind of. 
Um, I, yeah, there's there's not a lot that I, I feel like I've accomplished. Maybe that's a failing of my own, you know, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things like, I'd like to think that I haven't done a lot and there's a lot to do, a lot that's left. Um, but I'm still like, that's the thing, like what matters is the systems that you have in place in terms of getting stuff done. Um, and your frame of, you know, how you approach, approach your everyday just work and life. So I'm just trying to get my systems right. And then hopefully, yeah, I'd like to think that those would lead to better successes or yeah, whatever. Um, if that makes oh, yeah. any sense, that, I hope that's that not is... too vague. But yeah, I think I, I did think make... just generally, yeah, Allah wa shukra, I've been very lucky. That's that's how I would put it. I know that doesn't probably answer your question really well, but <laughs> it's, it's generally how I and think then, of what, it, yeah. You know, so definitely, I think you're just being very humble, but I'll go with it. Uh, so you said that you don't feel like you've accomplished enough. What's enough for you? When do you, is enough like, you know, you reach it, then you're like, okay. I've I've gotten hmm. there. I'm good. Or is it like a continuous kind of? This probably sounds really shallow, but I'm thinking I, I'm thinking more in terms of financial and monetary success. Uh, ah, that's like a... that's how life is. Okay, I'm working at uh, yeah. at Sadafe Money Finance. It's, it's <laughs> no, you're doing great, man. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but I think yeah, I I think more so just like what I expect of myself in terms of how much, how many hours I put in being seen and also how much, uh, like what my return is for my hours. Obviously I don't like to think of it that directly uh, because it is a passion project and it isn't something that I'm doing just for the sake of making like a profit, which would be nice. But that's the thing, yeah. I, like, like I have this monetary goal in mind that once it gets to this, place like I feel like it can financially sustain itself for a long time and also give me some provisions and give me some fruit for for the long term as well so that's yeah that's more so what I have in mind when I think of like this will be enough and I'm, I'm good um, and then also yeah I just have like other kind of um, I guess like little goals in mind of uh, it, it, which more so has to do with how my life would look like, how much uh, independence I would have in terms of how much I need to work versus how much I t how much time I have for leisure. I know that's something people think about like after retirement. Uh, yeah. You know, like this is when this is all the time I have for leisure now, and that's it. Uh, but I'd really love to have like, uh, you know, like different streams of income to be able to sustain myself uh, and have, you know, just a way of getting by without having to give 12 hours, 18 hours in a day to my two jobs or roles at work. Yeah. Okay. So essentially like a work-life balance, you want to make enough returns to be able to enjoy the luxuries of life. Yeah, basically, I, I would love to start a few other businesses as well at some point and just, you know, over the next 10, 15 years, if if my pockets allow me. And yeah, yeah. which brings me actually to yeah. the phrase people say that money can't buy happiness. To be very fair, I think that's that's very off the mark. I mean, in today's <laughs> world, you yeah, there are certain things money can't buy, but yeah, yeah. I would be happy if I were traveling. <laughs> traveling needs money. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, I'd be happy if I had, like, you know, a nicer house. If I could go abroad, meet my friends, it requires money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Sadly, these are all you know, great things. In, yeah, yeah. We just live in a market, a capitalist market, where we need money to accomplish yeah. things. Sadly, yeah. Uh, but that brings me to so, mm -hmm. in terms of like you know looking up to someone, a goal like something mm -hmm. that you're chasing. So this is actually a quote by Matthew McConaughey. It's mm -hmm. when like, you know, when asked that, you know, I think you might've heard of it because it got really famous okay. at one point. Okay. Uh, that someone asked him like, you know, who's your hero? And he was like, I'll have to think about it and get back to you in like a week's time. And in a week's time when he was asked and he's like, 
I thought about it, my hero is me 10 years in the future. And 10 years yeah. later, when he was asked the same question, he's like, I, like, have you reached the hero? Have you reached what you want to become? He's like, I'm not even close. Because I now my hero mm-hmm. is me 10 years further down in the future. So what that mm-hmm. does for me, it gives me someone and something to chase, something mm-hmm. realistic. Mm-hmm. If I attach yeah. my goals to something physical, something already present, mm-hmm. then I'm once I reach it, what am I going to do? What's my purpose yeah. then? Yeah, so right. Always moving forward. And I think where people lose that with just like, you need to be productive in order to reach it. You need to manage mm-hmm. your time. Mm-hmm. But how people allocate is is that, you know, I need to manage my time in order to reach this. And then there's, mm-hmm. that's the end. Like, okay, mm-hmm. then where do you go? Mm-hmm. For me, mm-hmm. I think that time's more of like, it's a river, it's flowing. And mm-hmm. you can't, I mean, time can't run out. Yeah. This time keeps going on. Time for mm-hmm. you can run out. And you can't yeah. barter time. You can't take mm-hmm. time at the Itna time mm-hmm. like you know, abhi itna bhar pani jama uh, uh, and I'll use this much for this, this much for this, this mm-hmm. much for this. Mm-hmm. If it drains out of your fingers, it's gone. So you yeah. got to do what you have yeah. in the moment with it. What's your view yeah. on that? You know, you, I I totally agree with what you said in in, in the end there. Um, I definitely like. I I would say I relate to the to the fact of like thinking of myself in the future and you know, feeling like okay, I still am not there. So like five, 10 more years, and then that's a person I look up to and want to be. Uh, it's, but it's one of those, okay, I, to anyone watching or you as well, like, okay, I also will add that I definitely think it's very, very important to take, like, pause and take stock of your life and everyone in yeah. your life and just be appreciative for, everything that you have in the current moment. Obviously, this is easier said than done, especially if you're coming from a place of privilege, which I definitely yeah. am. I, I do have a lot of opportunities have been given to me over life that many people uh, do not have, and I'm extremely blessed. And that's one thing that I can, you know, uh, that I need to, you know, be grateful for every day because it's not something that, you know, I, I, it's not something anyone should take for granted. And I think yeah. everybody, yeah, especially people who come from a certain uh, strata of society or a social economic background, we definitely need to definitely. be, yeah, appreciative and like be aware of our privilege. Um, so we yeah, also I think, need to be held accountable for it. In yeah, some forms. yeah, exactly. Because some people can run away with it in terms of like just yeah. being exploitative, and that that shouldn't be done. Um, so that's one thing that I'd say. Like, I definitely try and be careful of um because yeah obviously with privilege you also have a responsibility uh of yourself you know not being yeah. uh just an asshole i guess yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> sorry the gist of it yeah i yeah. <laughs> don't be sorry okay so what mantra do you live by like is there something you keep telling yourself or something you came across in your life that you're like yeah. you know this is I- I, I'm so glad you asked me that because there's this, there's this one thing I've been, I like, uh, it's something that Irfan, Irfan, I mean, everybody says it, but Irfan Janejo said it recently. Uh, and he, he says like, uh, wait, what did he say? <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> While you think said, about it. Yeah. He said, sir, niche kaam upar or some shit. It's, it was, <laughs> It is something, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if this might re- reach this might reach Irfan Janejo because he because he connected with us recently. Oh, like, no, yeah. part of the program. Uh, which oh, was shit. nice. It was Irfan great. Like, that is pretty <laughs> well. That's crazy. Huh? Yeah, of course. I I mean I def- definitely look up to him in terms of like what he's done over the last. Like he's definitely had a huge impact not just not just on in the creator kind of economy space but also a cultural impact i think on a lot of you know young people uh and i'm one of them i guess but yeah huge huge inspiration definitely 
so you live by his mantra sorry uh, basically usne ha usne jo bhi bola tha main bas main manta hu usne jo ifan mai jo bolte hai main bas sir niche karke ji se ji se maine sahi bola hai main yahi karunga bhaiya ifan bhai ne you all should follow that mantra because ifan bhai also says ke sada pe join karna hai इंटरेस्टिंग That's a it's a great question mujhe sach mein bolu mujhe nahi pata uh i i think jo that's a good hai, answer yeah like it happens for a reason and this is the only timeline that i timeline that i'm aware of and conscious of so yeah. i haven't thought of anything else like to be honest like being seen was also something that uh happened you know just sort of spontaneously in ways uh yeah मुझे Yeah. <laughs> okay so i'm watching the series on netflix recently it's uh, called uh, uh midnight mass uh-huh. oh yeah so ye alle baat sahi hai bilkul sahi bol raha hai baat bilkul sahi hai so baat paisa ka hai abhi 5 minute pehle hum wahi baat kar rahe the paisa hota hai kaam hota hai paisa no doubt but yeah like you said that uh yeah. we need To, to, I'm sorry. Okay, so you said that we need to like, what happens happens for a reason, right? No, and no. that for the show that I'm watching right now, Midnight Mass, is actually mm-hmm. from the creators of Sci- uh, of uh, uh, Haunting of Bly, Bly Manor and mm-hmm. Hill House. Oh, yeah. nice, so, nice. but most of it is just psychological horror, and mm-hmm. it really mind f's you. Like, shuru me five episodes are one hour long. That's all about like you know. a fishing town people are trying to be productive they're trying to manage their time but things just aren't going their way and they're losing okay. hope and so, they're finding hope in religion there's a muslim family most of the culture is uh, like uh, catholic and then it's okay. also a muslim family tying into it and how people use that uh, the thing that you just mentioned like jo hota hai happens for a reason to mm-hmm. get by to be productive like they can't be productive because it's a fishing village there's been an oil mm-hmm. spill they can't uh-huh. physically have more product because mm-hmm. there's less of it so how yeah. do you manage your time how do mm-hmm. you manage productivity if there's less mm-hmm. of it so the takeaway that i got from 5 mm-hmm. hours of 5 episodes was mm-hmm. that you know you you manage your own productivity as mm-hmm. as it's a saying in at sada pe also you're your own boss so mm-hmm. your productivity goes as far as you allow yourself to be if you tell yeah, yourself like so. you know what's happening is happening for a reason now mm-hmm. i can just mm-hmm. take it in my stride and yeah. move on or yeah. i can just wallow over it be like oh shit mera yeah. time manage nahi hua din mein ye nahi hua to ab bas kaam kiya bahar right right uh no that's i definitely try and i can incorporate that as well uh but this is uh one thing i will add as a caveat is uh ये जो सोच होती है कि जो भी होता है बेहतरी के लिए होता है ये सोच मैं अपनी पर्सनल थिंकिंग के लिए रखता हूँ अपने पास ही रखता हूँ दिस इज फॉर माय सेल्फ मैं किसी और को कभी नहीं बोलूंगा कि देखो जो होता है वो अच्छे के लिए होता है तुम्हारे साथ तुम्हारी जो गाड़ी अभी एक्सीडेंट में एक्सीडेंट में ठुकी है yeah. जो बुरा हाल हुआ है ये अच्छे के लिए हुआ है yeah. तुम फिक्र नहीं करो yeah. सब सही हो जाए for my own Personally. internal yeah exactly like i would i would generally like to be a positive person but to force positivity down other people's throat ke jo bhi ho raha hai ye acche ke liye tum bas i feel like 
थोड़ा गैस एक्टिंग सीन हो जाता है इतना नहीं करना चाहिए दूसरों के साथ आई थिंक देर आर सर्टन सिचुएशन कीप इन माइंड इन बी केयरफुलिशन Yeah, I think जहाँ confusion आती है, especially how people use that term जो होता है, शिक्षे के लिए होता है, is mm-hmm. I would, as you rightfully said, and mm-hmm. I think the word was coined, के it's for yourself, like mm-hmm. to pick yourself up mm-hmm. in times you're down, like अच्छा जो हुआ है, शिक्षे के लिए हुआ है, like I'll use this to move on. It right. feels like again, self help books work because mm-hmm. you're telling yourself something. It's not mm-hmm. someone else telling you to make a change. It's you telling yeah. you to make a change. Yeah. If someone else does it. that just be that's just like you don't know kya hua hai mere sath yeah, uh-huh. acche ho gaye but so how can you tell me ki acche ke liye ho raha hai someone yeah. can't pick you up that's the point you pick yourself up people can put you uh-huh, in a better because... headspace to get up mm-hmm. but they can't mm-hmm. physically reach out to get you up at least that's mm-hmm. my opinion no, i totally that's agree with you yeah that, that's that's definitely true it it is like a lot of internal self talk uh yeah. that does get you to do the things you need to do yeah Yeah. No doubt. Right, so, what's how you've read self help books, and I, as I'm aware with your social media, you do a a bit of reading as well. Mm-hmm. So, what's one piece? What's one piece that you like really identify with takeaway that's helped you manage your productivity, or just mm-hmm. put you in a better mind space to manage productivity? Hmm. I there's. There's yeah there are certain concepts that stick out I can I'm trying to think of something that really did you know just that grabbed me and like was so kind of mind blowing that I haven't forgotten it but um I can generally just suggest a book that really helped change my frame of mind um mm-hmm. and how I look at productivity systems and for myself uh and just generally uh so it has it's by james uh, wait it's called james atomic c habits. collins no no it's called atomic oh. habits by james clear uh oh. it's a fantastic book it's about like taking things one step at a time uh not rushing the process of you know restructuring your habits and life but it really is like completely deconstructing why you have certain habits why you have bad habits how you can unlearn bad habits and relearn new ones and become you know better uh and be more productive and yeah just uh basically yeah canceling taking out just the things that you don't want in your life as far as behaviors and habits go that are destroying your productivity yeah so atomic habits by james clear is a fantastic book uh very practical very real it. fantastic yeah i will definitely like to read <laughs> okay one thing i also wanted to discuss is so as i've learned from this call and as you also told me is that mm-hmm. you manage productivity in your own ways you wouldn't necessarily chalk it up to grade mm-hmm. a time management yeah. but yeah. a lot of people i guess myself included i had mm-hmm. the bias of thinking that you'd have your shit together like be incredibly time managed because when mm-hmm. you look at your socials like your bnc account and your Insta account, yeah, it's all very yeah. well organized, and the aesthetics are on point. Like they, <laughs> literally, I look at your pictures and I feel calm. Like, yeah. Oh, oh shit! Sure, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, that's the thing. Yeah, it's a it's a chimera. It's like it's an illusion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I will still attach those pictures to like, you know a sense of security, time management. Like, <laughs> It's upset. It's like, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I, I really. Uh, yeah. So sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Like I'll no, continue. I, I keep talking. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Yeah, it is. It is. It is an illusion. Like I definitely try my <laughs> hardest, but those more so happen like in the spur of a moment rather than something planned. But yeah, thank you, man. Right. Appreciate it. No, no worries. Like I yeah. appreciate watching your content. Okay, you can't throw this back at me. I was on Insta when I was like, "Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
So I mm-hmm. visualize my day going smooth, and then because uh-huh. that that thing didn't happen in time, there's a bump, and I can't move past that bump. My mind's just stuck on that bump, and it literally drives me crazy. Like I can't get up, I can't do anything uh-huh. until that bump is flattened. And this got yeah, yeah. so bad when I used to have like a headache. Uh-huh. Like if my re- fever reaches a hundred and one, this bump would materialize. Mazak ke lava. If I'm on a bed, I can feel the bump. And my ultiya gana shuru kar diya. Like ye bump ja nahi raha. Ye ja. And then I was like shit. Yeah. Then I was like shit. You know this is something I need to work on. I mean, bumps will come. I can't just. पूरा मेरी ज़िंदगी ऐसी बम्प के पीछे भाग गई. Yeah, that, that that's interesting. I've never seen someone fix it or, you know, be distract uh, not distracted but like just be bothered to that level where it you know physically agitates you. That's interesting. I, it was yeah. so. It was. So I, would you say? Would you say you've gotten over it now? Or would you say like you've worked around? I would. I would definitely like again. What helped me is I'll go back to the start of this conversation when uh-huh. you said, "If I'm doing something, I give it my all." Tab ho gaya, mm-hmm. jitna ho sakta ho gaya. So mm-hmm. that helped me realize, mm-hmm. like you know, put those bumps into mm-hmm. uh, boxes and be like, mm-hmm. right now I'm just focusing on this bump. I'm not yeah. worrying about another bump in the future or one in the past. This is my bump. I'm just gonna <laughs> Sorry, fixate the... on it. Even if I can't settle it down, uh-huh. I'll move on. Come back to it. That helps. Very good, good. Manage productivity. I'm happy to hear that. That's good. So again, one thing, one reason why I chose this topic on productivity mm-hmm. is because, so I had the same like bias. Shuru me, which you also discussed, that time management. Even if you don't have great time management skills, like you're not chalking up your day every hour of your day. That is me. You can do it. You can still be productive. And I realized this. Like early this year, like early twenty twenty one, when I was handling uni, uh, two jobs and uh, the COVID fiasco. Like Lahore, I'm going there. I'm going to Karachi. I'm going to the family. The drama is going. And yeah. then yeah. there was one point I literally had four laptops open in front of me. One me uni work is going. One me I'm like booking everyday oh, tasks. Nice. One one right. I'm doing my work on, like both yeah. my works on. And yeah. last way, I'm managing like you know, like we got Netflix people love it. And then people used to be like, "How do you manage time? Like you know, you must have great time management skills to get all this done." I was like, uh-huh. zero. Okay, zero. Jab aata hai, I was like, "Acha, abhi yeah. sab blocker karo, sirf ye laptop screen hai. Yeah, Isse yeah. khatam karo, dur karo, dusre mein aao. Like zero time management. Oh, Khana khana bhool yeah. jata hoon, bathroom jana bhool jata hoon, pani pina bhool oh, jata hoon." Like being productive <laughs> is just then, yeah. yeah. Then being productive is just coming from, like, your sense of wanting to do something. If you're forcing mm-hmm. yourself to do something, this is actually one thing that my sister actually made mm-hmm. me realize is she loves art. Okay. And so she was like, uh, parents wanted to send her off to art school, but she's like, I love doing it, and if I make it a passion, like if I make it my passion to a study, mm-hmm. then what studies mm-hmm. essentially does is it. It assigns time. Like you have to finish yeah. this project by this right, time. Right, right. It's like that takes right. the fun out of it. I'm doing Very something. True. I'm giving it my all, and mm-hmm. if I have a time limit on it, I won't want to do it. Then I'll keep looking mm-hmm. at that time limit. Like shit, yeah, ye khatam karna. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. that. Yeah, it's. I want to yeah. do it. Yeah, it sucks the fun out of it and it makes you regret it. I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I'm being told that we should start with questions. Are there any questions yeah. in the chat? Chalo, Beno, bhaiyo. Okay, you only have so much mental energy that you can give in a day, and this might be especially important if you are introverted because your energy can get mm-hmm. sapped even faster than an extrovert. Yeah, think of the last I time you had a hectic birthday. At the time you got home, did it feel like you can think straight, let alone get started on dinner? Definitely. What? Meri zindagi ki matlab yeh to sare sara kuch bolti. I I definitely feel that way. It's that's. Uh, I'm sorry, Maz. If you want to answer this. No, no, no. Uh, go you, ahead. you go ahead first. You go ahead okay. first. Yeah. I, I, I think I, I, I can definitely relate with this. I, I empathize because I feel like I am an omnivert, more on the, like on the scale of introvert to extrovert. I do incline more towards introverted. I don't know. 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 I
uh, I do get quite awkward in group settings and all that. So yeah, I I, thought, I definitely need alone time to recharge my social battery and recharge my emotional battery as well. Uh, I think it, it's it definitely helps having a few like just like your own kind of 30 minutes or one hour in the day just with no one around you i know that's easier said than done uh especially if you're with family uh you have people pulling you left and right for for things to get done but whether it's before work or you're at or after work after nine to five or before nine to five it really like uh, i think my quiet time my alone time is like the 30 minutes before i get to work or uh, i just like carve out that like this is sacred time like when it's subaki with a puri routine ki just sat down read a book and then got to work later so yeah i think carving out that time definitely helps i definitely agree with that like mm-hmm. is it i used to be very extroverted pehle yeah. but then people just start getting too much and i was like i need alone time <laughs> yeah alone yeah time. and even during this pandemic i feel like we've just become more so you know uh yeah. just not in the same social uh my mind mindset i guess where yeah. it's hard to interact yeah, yeah. can and money bring lasting bring... happiness as well farhan bhai ye main khud hi sochta hu aur mujhe khud iska jawab nahi pata farhan main ek cheez mera ye ek i know again coming from a place of privilege like that i mentioned we can afford doing this like in legit there was a point in my time jab if i'm like there were six months i was very sad for whatever reasons and how i kept myself happy was yeah abhi ye wali cheez khareedo do mahine isse khushi milegi do mahine fix ek aur cheez khareed lo i was like i'm hacking the system yeah. and my wallet was like no you're not hacking the system tare paise khatam ho gaye i was like oh shit ab kya karu agle mahine ka intezar karo bhai he's definitely got a point it can't yeah. bring last thing happiness because you've only got so yeah. much money it's going to yeah. run out no one's just bezos and then bezos bhai kitna maza hai yaar to kaun kaun tak gaya hai to i i think Chef, uh, just to yeah i'm oh, sorry go ahead and most... no no go ahead you can talk um do you want uh, no that's that's about it let's All go right. on to the next question <laughs> okay go on ahead and most companies working extra hours consider considered as high productivity why is that so and how to change that i okay so okay uh, i just want to make one comment i love that he said this because just for clarity this guy is my boss um so yes working <laughs> extra hours should mm. not be a thing at all I it mean, doesn't help yeah it, it does I, yeah yeah I, i mean i'm sure is you know pro- better yeah yeah productivity in essence is getting more stuff done in less hours So yeah, if you yeah. need extra hours to increase productivity isn't that yeah. counterintuitive yeah precisely it's it, it's definitely like i'm i'm so glad uh so far as i said this and you know you expanded on this but it it's one of those things like i so there is this one module that i took in my masters program that i was extremely intrigued by one of the best you know classes i've ever taken which is um leading high performance teams um uh, so and the main one of the main studies that we looked at was uh giving more work hours or an extra work day in the week does not increase output whether it's a, in a manufacturing setting whether it's in a service industry uh setting with whatever setting it is it does not increase productivity it only leads to more resources being burned uh while not getting an adequate return on on those resources that are spent so Yeah, I'm I'm so glad this was this was said. Yeah, definitely great yeah. input. Thank you. Uh how have you managed to balance so many things like social media, your own startup and your social life as well? Zarek, that's for you. Usman bhai, it's an ongoing challenge. I I still don't have it figured out. It's it's one of those things like I just wake up every day and I'm like oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> um it's um I, I it's it's one of those things like I'm still figuring it out and um every day i just try and just prioritize better that's what matters um but it's it, it's tough like i have to take breaks from certain things that aren't a high priority like for example social media like i will just take a month off from it 
when I feel like other more pressing tasks are need to be done immediately. So obviously like my full-time work is more important than me posting on my coffee page. Uh, so I will actively uh, like, yeah, I will actively take a break from, from my Instagram account for a whole month uh, just to, you know, uh, look at other things that matter more. Yeah. So prioritize, I guess. Yeah. I think this is the last question we have time for. So, uh, so let's make the most of it. Oh, okay. That's okay. Uh, okay. Do you want to take this one? Oh, one of the biggest problems with modern work culture is the emphasis on being busy. The kind of thinking that if you've completed your to-do list, then you clearly don't have enough on your workboard. But where does this mentality end? So my this is something that my dad says. Like, oh, you uh, uh, Exactly. Uh, like, I'm so happy I'm so happy to be I'm so happy to be What do you want? So, you know, actually, ye meri ammi ne mujhe abhi bola tha. Like, when I started yeah. working at Sadape, I'm genuinely happy with the work I have, more so mm-hmm. than previous jobs. Mm-hmm. And so when I'm telling at the dinner table, like, you know, oh, we did this, I'm having so much fun. And then I have time to relax, to reflect. I meet great people. They're like, "Tum sahi kam mein nahi lage. Tum aapas utha time kaise hota hai? Tum haram kam mein to nahi lage. Matlab Pakistan mein your job and happiness can't go together." Hey, what is it? Yeah, that's true. Aap khush ho? Kaise? Kuch karne ka nahi hai? Kaise? Tum usko raha hai? Kitna tarz becha hai usne? <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely we got it goes against our cultural understanding of what productivity is and what work is. Like we about to get like the idea of just you know uh because this is one thing that I've seen my uh seen you know elders in my family struggle with and my dad doesn't understand this concept and I think a lot of other people don't. Okay, like work from home jo hai, the idea of work from home. नामुमकिन है और क्योंकि आप घर पे बैठे हो आपके मैनेजर को नहीं पता आप क्या कर रहे हो आपका काम सही तरह से नहीं होगा वही पीछे आपके कोई डंडी लेके नहीं खड़ा होगा तो आपको कैसे आप कैसे सही तरह से काम करोगे आई थिंक दैट पार्शियली कम्स फ्रॉम आई थिंक दैट देयर इज अ फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम इन इन आवर सोशल फैब्रिक वेयर वी डोंट ट्रस्ट अदर्स सो आई थिंक लाइक आवर एम्प्लॉइज आर गोइंग टू स्लैक ऑफ इफ वी आर इवन लुकिंग अवे फॉर अ सेकंड सो दैट I think yeah. It, Daniel, when you do big guy, I agree. It's 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 a fallacy. <laughs> okay, like I think that was all the time we had. Zarek, it was amazing catching up with you. It was, it was wonderful. And, you know, I I really want to do this after you did this with uh, Josefa Bito. With, uh, oh okay. And I was like, no, yeah, in come as well. Yeah, guess. I'm so to, glad. I need I've, to have a chat yeah. with Zarek. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. It was it was a genuine Thank pleasure to being here to talk about. Loved every second of it. Same man, same. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Again, sorry, guys. Zarek, I think it's seven eight a.m. now. Uh, yeah, where you're at. <laughs> he had to wake up at seven a.m. But look at him, productivity. Should wait, wait. Really? I know. Thank you so much. It means a lot, and I love this conversation. It was very fun. Loved every second. Thank you, me as well. Thank you, guys. I hope you guys had a takeaway from this also. But हम लोग मज़े ही नहीं कर रहे थे. कुछ बातें भी हुई important. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Zarek. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care, guys.